Hi, welcome to video 6 of Access 2013. We're continuing working on our database for the company Crystal Pools. We're going to add a new feature on the invoice form. Normally when you design a program all of the fields and all of the reports are well defined beforehand. But since we're learning how to use databases we're going to add a feature now that we haven't thought about yet. Let's add a new checkbox item here. We're going to tell the computer that the customer has paid the invoice and what date they have paid the invoice. So we're going to put some new fields in here. But before we can do that we need to go to the table called the invoice table and add a few items. So I'm going to right click on the invoice table and choose design view. The items that we're going to add are what we call a boolean decision. So I'm just going to put in the word paid and then over here where it says data type I'm going to change that to a yes no so in the field there's only two choices either yes it's been paid or no it hasn't and then let's also add another date paid so that we know when the customer paid the invoice this is a date field so we'll choose date time and so we're adding two new fields to the invoice table so let's close invoice here. This is important. You have to have it closed. And then we go to the invoice form. Right click on the title and choose design view. Now the first thing we have to do is tell invoice form about the new fields that we just created. So let's right click anywhere on the form and choose form properties. Over here where it says record source we're going to find the last button that has three dots on it. Click there and this brings up the query of all the items in the tables that are being shown on the form. Notice we have paid and date paid. Those are new items that we haven't considered before. So let's scroll to the right to see what's being included on the form and sure enough they're not there yet. All we have to do to add them is either drag them from here down to this line or you can simply double click it and it adds it to the next available column. So let's close this and save it. And then we're able to add a new control. Let's add it down here below the address. To get a new control I go up to design and I click on the down arrow and look for a checkbox. The checkbox is right here. And let's click down here. Now as soon as that checkbox is there we need to link it to the new field. So this drop down box will show all the items that are available on this form including the one that we just added paid. Let's, instead of check 29 let's give this a label that says paid with a question mark. Okay so now we'll be able to tell when the customer pays or not. It would also be nice to know if the customer has paid and when they've paid. So let's go up here and add a new control. I'm looking for the text box item, this one. And let's click about here. Let's move things over so that they don't overlap. Let's call this thing date of payment. And notice the title says unbound. So it doesn't know where the data is coming from yet. We simply go over to control source and select one. We want date paid. Let's save the results of this form. And let's go look at form view. And so now, when we look through the invoices, let's go pick one, the third invoice for instance. And if we check paid, now the database considers this a closed invoice. It's been paid. And when did she pay it? Well, let's select a date. Let's pick the 4th of September. And let's go to another record. If we go back to the third record, you see it is now listed as paid. And so we've updated our form to include a payment and the date of payment. Normally when you create databases you're supposed to have all these design decisions done ahead of time. Adding extra fields and extra form items is a sign of bad planning. Most professionals wouldn't put a database together like we just did. However, 
We don't have the experience of adding forms and creating these things like a professional would, and so designing ahead of time is more difficult for us. And so for a tutorial, it makes sense to add pieces as we go through the process. Now, there's two more things that we're going to do for this database. We're going to do another query to show an example of querying, and we will also add a report so we can show the number of people who are overdue on their payments. And then the last item is we will add a control form so that way it looks more like an application with a menu and uh, a user would not have to see all these items up in the top of our menus right now. And so that's what's coming ahead.